Well, environmental activists are calling out Bitcoin for its high energy consumption. Algorand is the first self-sustaining carbon negative blockchain creating new economic models and it's been a more sustainable alternative to other forms of Bitcoin mining. And with me is the CEO of Algorand Foundation, Stacey Warden, to talk about everything that Algorand is doing. You're giving me a little bit of a history of um, the founder of Algorand, how he decided to address this issue. So. Tell me about that. Yeah, Algorand was founded by a Turing Award winner in computer science and cryptographer named Silvio McCauley. He's a tenure professor at MIT in cryptography. And he invented a couple of things that the cryptocurrency ecosystem uses, zero-knowledge proofs, verified random functions. And so he was watching this ecosystem use some of his fundamental pillars, and he said, you know, I could probably build a better one of those. You know, it's a little bit uh, too costly still, it's a little too slow still, and it's very energy intensive. So he was able to raise a bunch of money immediately based on his name, hired a crackjack a team of cryptographers and engineers and management team, and uh, went live in 2019, hasn't been down for a second since, and it has a, because of its, it's got a, it's got an elegant consensus mechanism, which is how all of the computers, you know, blockchain is a, is a bunch of disparate nodes of computers. They all have to talk to each other. Mm. How you get them to do that is the juice that's, of blockchain. And that's how, what takes all the energy, is right. all these computers kind of talking to each other. But right. he figured out a way to do that. In a very light touch okay. way, faster, more secure, and more environmentally friendly. Okay, yeah. interesting. Yeah. And you came from traditional finance, right? Yes. J.P. Morgan. Mm -hmm. I mean, tell me about your And background. a couple of years at the NASDAQ, actually. Oh, okay. I ran the two microcap markets for the NASDAQ back okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, you know, the way I see it and the way I say it is it's a one-way street from traditional finance to crypto. I mean, once you go to crypto, you kind of right. never, never, you back. never go okay. back. Yeah. <laughs> and I uh, fell down the rabbit hole in 2013. We all have our fall down the rabbit hole stories. Mm -hmm. I was doing a, a series with the National Institute of the Press trying to do some press education and they actually requested, could I explain this Bitcoin thing to them? Mm -hmm. So... I locked myself in my condo and I emerged you know, six days and three pizzas later in love. I mean, I couldn't believe this, this, this Satoshi Nakamoto and that Bitcoin could actually have a ledger of transactions where, you know, right now, if somebody in Nigeria wants to send somebody in Malaysia a movie, they can do that by WhatsApp in one minute. Mm -hmm. But to send one dollar, mm -hmm. you have to travel through the correspondent banking system, clear at the Fed, it takes days, it takes yeah. days and 12% mm -hmm. taken off the top later, right? And I saw immediately that the Bitcoin protocol, and it was a little bit too early and it's not exactly fit for purpose, but that could be a solution to that. That could be, and that in turn can be a solution to financial inclusion, the kinds of things that we care about, right? And so I just kept getting more and more into it and then uh, joined Algorand this year. Yeah, okay. CEO, yeah. Now, um, so talk to me about what happened in Times Square this week is associated with Earth Day. Okay, all right. So we had two goals, uh, we, one of which we succeeded marvelously and one of which we failed miserably, I will say. <laughs> so we took... Yeah, not bad. <laughs> it's not bad, right? <laughs> so we took over Times Square and we had billboards of Algorand and Green covering Times Square and we wanted to have a moment of silence mm -hmm. to appreciate Mother Earth and to make the point that Algorand is a green blockchain. And so we tried to, and this is where we succeeded, we equated the energy usage of Times Square, and you think about Times Square, it's very energy efficient, oh goodness, right? Yeah. Those LEDs are top of the line, the most advanced technology, because they're on all the time. We took that energy and we said, how many transactions with that amount of energy could you do on the Algorand blockchain? And the answer is 350 million. And so when you, and you know, that takes about 90 hours because we're 24 seven, right? I mean. We in cryptography, we think, and in cryptocurrency, we think it's cute that you wait for the opening bell, honestly, because, you know, we're 24-7 right. all the time. Oh, yeah, Sunday, you know, yeah, right. in the morning, whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Where we failed, though, is we thought, okay, we'll just have this pause. Everybody in Times Square will pause mm. and appreciate. But nobody in Times Square slows down for <laughs> anything, for right. any second. So we could have made the whole thing pitch black, and everybody kept, would have kept going. You know, oh, get me, you know, i got to get to the theater. You know, get out of my way. So, but it was, it was great fun. And we had people from car like out, out of their windows taking pictures uh -huh. and people gathering and everybody standing around. It was all lime green. It was unbelievable, yeah. actually. Well, I told you I watched a, a live stream of it. Yeah. And you could tell things got darker, but yeah, people were still kind of yeah. walking around. Yeah, people Not were doing that. Not too much that the phases people, I yeah. think, in Times Square. <laughs> exactly. So just, let's just talk about blockchain technology mm. and where it stands, because it is the environmental 
thing is still an issue. Right. Um, so where is that in terms of the technology? Um, where do you think we'll be with this? Yeah, I think everybody starts caring more and more and more. And so it's going to get better and better and better, right? I mean, you can do on your mobile phone the same amount of power that they use to take a man to the moon for NASA, right? I mean, everything is, of course, getting better. But you've got to be careful and you have to distinguish blockchain for blockchain if you want to be very environmentally conscious, right? And what we have, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm proud to say it, is we are very fast, we are very secure, and we are also uh, carbon negative. So, and we made a commitment to that actually just uh, for Earth Day, which is that we will use all of our fees, uh, and our fees are pretty low and our carbon footprint is pretty low, but still, we'll use all of our fees and through a smart contract mechanism, which is a fundamental feature of blockchain, we will use those fees to offset any carbon footprint that we do have. So we are guaranteed to be carbon negative. Because I might care, but I might get hit by a bus and then an evil CEO could come into the Algorand Foundation and it wouldn't matter. That's locked in now by smart contract technology. Okay. They will always be carbon negative no matter how big we get. Very exciting to watch and learn about and kind of kind of be a part of. So yeah, yeah. thank you so much, Stacey. I so in. yeah, I so yeah. appreciate you. Thanks. Thank you. Uh -huh.